Guys, today I have for you insane barbecue chicken setup. We will use today Shocker Punch new exotic holster which was introduced to us with year 5. And oh my goodness, hold my cat's balls because if you're gonna pair it up with shield and galvanized talent, mm, man. Amount of bonus armor you're gonna proc is absolutely disgusting. Castingly OP, you can annihilate every goddamn room and look at this armory and yeah, Jesus. Throw in the mix, freaking 72% protection for my leads. Oh, easy money. No rogue agent, no Changas, no hunters will be able to take you down with this amount of bonus armor. Yeah, I don't kill me here. Yes. I lost a couple seconds on reload. I'm not perfect gamer. Give me a break, man. Yes, I could take this chunk a little bit quicker. But that's not the point, man. This setup is absolutely a must try, especially if you're gonna pair it up with Intimidate talent. Why Intimidate will work here? Because now you can stack it really easily. Unfortunately, Intimidate received a nerf a couple updates ago. Now you have to stack it previously to work basically instantly. Once you got bonus armor, boom, you have maximum possible damage from this chest piece talent. Now you have to stack it. And to stack it, we're gonna use Galvanize Talent. Perfect Galvanize. Why perfect Galvanize? Because it will provide us with 50% bonus armor. And we have tons of armor, so we will be really, really, really tanky. Almost up to 3 million. It's super tanky, man. And like I said, we have 72% protection from elites. DPS output will be nice because Elmo's engine by itself is one of the best weapons in the game right now. And actually, you can replace it. If you don't have Elmo's exotic assault rifle, don't worry. You can easily replace it with Scorpio shotgun. And this build will work just fine. Simply switch my secondary weapon for maybe Kingbreaker. Nah, Kingbreaker will not work it, but you can use the AK or Police M4 with Optimist and you will be just fine. But before we continue, quick word from this sponsor, Deeming.net. If you don't have enough time or good teammates, but you still want to have all the best items in your game, then Deeming.net is set for you. They have absolutely amazing team on consoles. They will complete your order super quick. Everything happens through Echo sharing this service has been working for many many years they have tons of customer reviews you can check everything by yourself but now with my promo code everybody do you will have 15 percent discount on absolutely all service it's an amazing deal especially right now they have some crazy sales going on so if you have any questions don't hesitate drop your comment down below in the comment section or contact the operator but now let's get back to this setup like i said we're gonna progalonize basically non-stop by using our shield and shock ammo how you should play this build that's most importantly if you will not use scorpio shotgun then you should stack your almost exotic assault rifle really easily use your bullets proc galvanized when you're gonna be out of those bullets shock bullets use your shield to proc another galvanized talent by the time your second wave of bonus armor will be and most likely you will get next magazine with shock bullets so it's really simple algorithm stack your almost engine rifle get your first intimidate proc then use your shield to proc bonus armor one more time since uh, galvanized time has no cooldowns whatsoever but you can't stack it unfortunately you can proc it basically instantly when the bonus armor has left you and uh, that's the best part about it it has no cooldowns no range limitations nothing but unfortunately you can't stack you can't stack it if you could stack it jesus christ oh my goodness for specialization here we will use survivalist to gain extra protection from elites medkit which is gonna heal us and our teammates fly grenades for crowd control three uh, for crowd control reasons and of course if we apply status effects to enemies those enemies will receive more incoming damage and we're gonna apply status effects non-stop perfect specialization for this build for the guns though i'm using elmos saint elmos engine exotic assault rifle if you don't have it or if you didn't reach uh, level 90 at your season uh, 
don't worry, you can replace it easily with Scorpio Shotgun. It will work just fine. You're gonna proc basically Galvanize as much if not more often than with your Elmos Exotic Assault Rifle because you can use Apply Shock on multiple enemies. You can spray and pray with your shotgun and get bonus armor and bonus armor and even though you don't have a lot on you, you can survive shit ton of incoming damage because like I said, perfect galvanize will give us almost one a million armor and some DPS setups don't have even that amount of armor and that's basically on our hands on demand when we want bonus armor boom we can apply shock with our shield or with our weapons and we have insane 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 amount of armor so like i said we are reaching almost 3 million armor we have 72 percent protection from elite with scorpio shotgun you can apply multiple stacks and eventually with full stacks applied your enemies will receive by 20 percent more incoming damage really nice in team play but uh, just remember that uh, Scorpio shotgun flags or marks will last on enemies for 10 seconds so only after 10 seconds you can shock him another time so the, keep that in mind for my secondary weapon I'm using AK with preservation one of the hardest hitting assault rifles in the game yes rate of fire is not that great but it hits really hard you could replace it with the mob shotgun to gain even more armor on kill it's really nice and uh, the mob shotgun will do some nice damage as well. For the pistol, this is the exclusive pistol Orbit with perfect finisher talent. Uh, simply kill non elite enemy, yellow, not, not yellow, excuse me, red bar enemies and switch their main weapon and you will gain 40% crit damage uh, boost and that will uh, basically give us 160 plus crit damage in this setup so not a bad at all option to use uh, we don't need in sync we don't need future perfection uh, we will not use the tournaments so orbit is perfect fit in this build for the mask though i'm using walking harris to receive weapon damage in perfect world i would use fenris mask to receive assault rifle damage but in this case scenario if you will use scorpio shotgun uh, Vulcan and Harris will work just fine, you will gain 5% damage buff on all weapons. But I would use Fenris uh, Mask to gain Assault Rifle damage because St. Elmo's Engine Exotic Assault Rifle is my main weapon. And oh but my goodness, it will be for quite some time. For my stats, as you see, 72% protection from elites, 50% crit chance, 120% crit damage, really solid stats. And best part about this uh, build that actually, if you are not playing heroic control points, were overwhelming, no, overwhelm damn man, <laughs> where most of the enemies will be elites. You can replace protection from elite mods with crit damage mods, and in that way you will gain you know, a shit ton of extra damage. You can reach almost 200% crit damage. Almost. We have 5 mod slots, so if you have 12% mod slots, you will have 60%. We have 120 plus, so it will be 180 plus crit damage. Throwing the mix orbit, and you have more than 200. For the holster, I'm using Shock a Punch in your holster. By itself, stats are not that great. Uh, you will not be shocked. It has nice resistance, especially from those rushers who are throwing shock grenades. You will not be stunned for too long, but I think it has never been an issue. Um, explosive resistance, uh, hazard protection, mm. uh, decent attributes, but mainly I'm using this uh, holster just to proc uh, galvanized talent on our backpack by using as well shield. Uh, we can face tank a lot of incoming damage, simply rush to the enemy, boom, you proc the galvanized, you have increased damage from intimidate, stack your St. Elmo's exotic assault rifle and just keep this, this cycle from go from assault rifle to one hitting somebody with your shield back to your assault rifle. It's pretty, pretty, pretty self-explanatory gameplay for the holster. 